Hey everybody, this is Ellen Valentine. Welcome to Leatherworks School. You're here on my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining. Be sure to subscribe so that you can get all of the updates uh, as they're announced. I certainly intend to do a lot more videos uh, for you all. So uh, hopefully you can subscribe. Today what I wanna talk about is gussets. Uh, gussets are the end pieces. This is an end gusset design anyway. Uh, the end pieces and you see how we've got a nice curve here uh, for the gusset no wrinkles no pleating uh, i want to talk about that this is uh this is a bag that's slightly larger than the clutch project that is found in the leatherwork school book and if you own the book you're in the right place if you don't own the book you want to pop out to leatherworkschool.com and and take a look this is slightly larger than the clutch project but it's it's really the same concepts with this gusset on the end. And I want to talk about uh, just a special little trick that you can do uh, to make these gussets uh, nice and beautiful and pleat free. So uh, here's our gusset pattern. And you'll notice that this is the outer leather. This is the lining. And you'll notice that the lining pattern is actually larger. Um, it's actually larger by uh, about an, uh, a three mil all the way around. And we've done that because we're going to curve our gusset at installation time. So uh, you wanna make sure that you cut out uh, two for the lining and two for the outer. Then what I want you to do is not glue the entire lining to the outer. If you do that, you're just gonna have a lot of wrinkles in there and this is kind of hard to see with this leather uh, but you can get a lot of wrinkling in here and this is a small piece too by the way if you're doing a larger gusset and you glue the whole thing down you will see a lot of wrinkling in here once you get it installed so you don't want to glue the entire lining to the outer now if you are using a reinforcement uh, on your outer leather you do want to glue the reinforcement all the way down to your outer leather. You're gonna treat that as one piece once, it's in, once that reinforcement is installed. But uh, you definitely do not wanna glue the entire lining to your outer. You just want to glue these scived edges. You just wanna glue the scived edges here. But uh, what you wanna do then is you wanna install the, the piece together. And what you could do is you could put this flat on your workbench and just glue your lining to your outer flat. But you don't wanna do that. And here's why you don't wanna do that. Once you install that, see what happens? You've actually just stretching your lining leather, but you've got too much outer leather and you've got this unsightly pleat. So you don't want to do that. Um, you don't want to install these pieces in a perfectly flat manner. What you want to do is you want to install them on a curve. See the curve here? Here's the top. See the curve? So what you want to do is you want to hold your, your lining material in your hands. And then you want to hold your outer leather in your hands. And you want to install them in a curve. We're going to install these in a curve and that's what you want to do so that when you go to install it you've got this nice curve in here and you don't have that pleating action this is why your lining is is, is larger because by the time you curve these pieces at installation this is paper it's not going to curve for me but by the time you curve these you're going to be using some of that extra three mil on both sides to accommodate the curve. So that's what I want you to do is install your gusset on the curve. And this applies, by the way, to the clutch project, the end shape project, the round handle project, and the top handle project. You want to make sure you're installing even the bigger gussets on this curve um, for, for your work. So those are other projects in the Leatherwork School book Again, install things on the curve for the gussets. As always, if anyone has any questions, you can reach out to me at leatherworkschool.com. Just send me a DM or you can send me an email at support at leatherworkschool.com. I hope that everyone is uh, looking at the projects and uh, getting ready to, uh, to begin working on them. I love seeing 
your work. Uh, so uh, post your projects using the hashtag LeatherworkSchool and then I can find them. So uh, please do that and uh, stay tuned for the next videos to come. Thank you.